Mickey washer necklaces that I found on Pinterest and everybody was like, can you do a tutorial? I want to know how to make them. So finally, I'm getting back to you guys and making you guys a tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. I did use my Cricut on this, so if you guys don't have one, click the link below and use the coupon code to get one. If you don't know what one is or you want to do this by hand, you can, but if you want one, make sure to check out all the videos I've used the Cricut for to see all the fun things that you can do with them. So I picked up some washers from the hardware store and the fun thing about washers is they come in different sizes and are super cheap so you can make these as big or as little as you want and they're super cheap like I just said. So we're going to measure our washers so that we know what size we need to make our papers and we're going to use a millimeter ruler that they have on the Cricut cutting tool so we're just going to figure out what size we need to make our circles and then design them in Cricut Design Space which is just super simple. You just add the shape and then you add two circles and resize them down to the size that you uh, measured. You can practice a few times on plain white paper just to make sure you get your circles right and then if you like these and you want to keep making them make sure to save it so that you have the sizes already done and ready to go for your next round if you want to make them. These would make really good party favors if you're having a birthday party or just a cute little gift that you can give to somebody who loves Mickey Mouse. Um, you can put these on keychains and all that good stuff. So we're going to just design up enough to make three and I actually used little pieces of paper that I moved around the mat. So I am going to just put these on the mat exactly where I'm going to lay my paper and the mat is exactly the same dimensions and sizes as your preview so it makes it super simple and everything is in a grid by um, inches, square inches. So that makes everything super easy. So we're going to put it on cardstock since I'm using cardstock. If you're using anything different make sure you use the right setting for that and then I'm just going to cut out these cute little circles and make sure that they match my washer before we glue them on. And then I'm going to use Mod Podge and I'm just using the regular Mod Podge to put these on. And then I'm just going to put the paper onto there, the washer, and then Mod Podge over it, which will create kind of a sealant and make it a little bit more waterproof just in case, you know, you sweat and all that good stuff when you're out and about. So if you're going to be wearing these or your kids are going to be wearing these, they'll be a little bit more weatherproof. So we're going to use E6000 to attach the ears and then just to reinforce them I put um, rings around them just in case um, and then this one I put crystals on which was super fun so I definitely made sure I put the rings on there just in case they were to come off but I haven't had any issues with that. And then I'm attaching a couple different ways. I'm using a ring to attach onto a piece of lace and then taking a little jewelry um, attacher subject. I always don't know what these things are called because I don't work with jewelry that much but it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to just attach all that and then put the ribbon through a little hoop and use hot glue to do that and then I've done one in black and this one I use a little bit of cute wire to make decorative around there and then for crystals I'm just using loose crystals that you can get at a craft store or online and I'll put links down below where I get all of my crystals so you guys can make sure to get yours and then I'm using E6000 which I also will put links to all of the stuff I've used in this video down below and then here's another way you can attach if you have a thin enough chain you can just slide the center part through and then loop uh, your two ends through it so that it just holds on right to the center if you would like your Mickey head to be centered and if you want it off center just do it on the ear and it's that simple they're super cute I hope you guys love them don't forget to click subscribe bye